Welcome back, history enthusiasts. In today's video, we'll dive into the captivating story of Chebo, an influential conglomerate that have played a pivotal role in shaping South Korea's economic landscape. From their humble beginnings to their controversial legacy, we'll explore the intriguing journey of these corporate giants. So sit back, relax, and let's embark on a journey through time. The roots of Chebo can be traced back to the mid 20th century during a crucial period of post-war reconstruction in South Korea. It was in the 1950s that these large family-controlled business groups began to emerge. One of the first and most prominent Chebol was Samsung, founded by Lee Byung-chul in 1938 as a trading company. However, it was during the post-war era that Samsung and other Chebol truly flourished. As South Korea emerged from the ashes of war and embarked on a journey of remarkable economic growth, the Chebol seized the opportunity to play a pivotal role in the country's transformation. These conglomerates, with their unwavering determination and entrepreneurial spirit, embarked on a path of diversification, expanding their operations into various industries, ranging from electronics and automotive to shipbuilding and more. Their strategic investments and ambitious ventures would leave an indelible mark on South Korea's export-oriented economy. One of the Chebol that rose to prominence during this period was Samsung. Founded by Lee Byung-chul in 1938 as a modest trading company, Samsung gradually expanded its reach into different sectors, including textiles, insurance, and retail. However, it was during the post-war era that Samsung truly flourished, making its mark on the electronics industry. With a vision for technological innovation, Samsung made strategic decisions to invest heavily in research and development, paving the way for groundbreaking advancements in consumer electronics. Another notable Che Bol that played a significant role in South Korea's rise was Hyundai. Established by Chung Joo Young in 1947 as a construction firm, Hyundai soon recognized the immense potential in diversifying its business portfolio. The company expanded into various sectors, such as shipbuilding, automobile manufacturing, and heavy industries. Hyundai's commitment to quality and innovation, coupled with its ability to adapt to evolving market demands, positioned the company as a formidable force, both domestically and globally. Nonetheless, it is undeniable that the rise of the Che Bowl reshaped South Korea's economic landscape. From humble beginnings, these conglomerates transformed into global powerhouses, establishing South Korea as a force to be reckoned with in the international business arena. Their contributions not only fueled economic prosperity, but also helped elevate the nation's global standing, sparking admiration and emulation from other countries. With power and success often comes controversy. Che Bol too faced their fair share of criticism. Critics argue that the immense influence wielded by these conglomerates has had negative consequences for South Korean society. Accusations of monopolistic practices, corruption, and the stifling of competition have plagued Che Bol over the years. Some even claim that their close relationship with the government has allowed them to evade regulations and accumulate disproportionate wealth and power. It's crucial to delve deeper into the multifaceted impact of Che Bol on South Korean society. While these conglomerates have undeniably played a significant role in the country's economic growth, job creation, and technological advancements, their influence has also given rise to certain challenges and controversies. On one hand, Che Bol have been instrumental in transforming South Korea into a global economic powerhouse. Their ambitious ventures and strategic investments have fueled economic growth contributing to increased employment opportunities for the nation's workforce. Through their diverse operations in sectors such as electronics, automotive, shipbuilding, and more, j Bull have created numerous job opportunities, providing stability and financial security to countless individuals and families. Despite these changes, it's important to note that j Bull have also made significant contributions beyond the realm of business. Many conglomerates have actively engaged in corporate social responsibility initiatives, supporting philanthropic endeavors, and investing in social causes. Their contributions to environmental sustainability, cultural preservation, and community development have had a positive impact on South Korean society. Furthermore, Che Bol's global reach and influence have elevated South Korea's international standing. These conglomerates have played a crucial role in promoting South Korean culture and products on the global stage, fostering national pride and enhancing the nation's soft power. The impact of Che Bol on South Korean society is complex and multifaceted. While they have undoubtedly been instrumental 
instrumental in the country's economic growth and technological advancements, their dominance has also given rise to challenges, such as income inequality, limited market competition, and concerns regarding transparency and accountability. As South Korea continues to evolve, finding a balance between the positive contributions and addressing the challenges posed by Chaebol will be crucial for ensuring a fair and equitable society. While Chaebol are unique to South Korea, similar corporate structures have emerged in other East Asian countries, playing significant roles in their respective economies. Let's explore some of these structures and their similarities to Chaebol. In Japan, we find the concept of Keiretsu. Keiretsu refers to networks of companies with cross-shareholdings and close business relationships. These networks are often comprised of large corporations, financial institutions, and suppliers. Just like Chaebol, Keiretsu have a family-centric nature, with founding families or influential individuals exerting substantial control over the affiliated companies. Keiretsu foster long-term business relationships, mutual support, and collaboration, much like the interdependent relationships within Chaebol. This close alignment often extends beyond business partnerships and includes social ties, creating a web of interconnectedness within the Japanese business world. Similarly, in Taiwan, we find powerful business groups known as the Taiwanese conglomerates, or Wanxi. These business groups, much like Che Bull, have a strong familial or kinship foundation. They consist of large conglomerates that span various industries, such as technology, finance, manufacturing, and more. The key characteristic of Taiwanese conglomerates is the emphasis on personal relationships and social networks, known as Guanxi, which play a significant role in business dealings and decision-making. These networks allow for cooperation, mutual assistance, and access to resources, similar to the interconnections within Bowl. It's important to note that while these structures share similarities with Bowl, each has its unique characteristics and cultural context. However, the influence of family-controlled conglomerates on the national economies of Japan and Taiwan, much like Che Bol in South Korea, cannot be overlooked. They've played pivotal roles in driving economic growth, shaping industries, and contributing to the development and international competitiveness of these countries. The presence of these conglomerates in multiple East Asian countries highlights the influence and impact of family-centered business models in the region. The success of Chaebol, Keiretsu, and Taiwanese conglomerates reflects the significance of strong leadership, long-term strategic planning, and the ability to leverage interconnections for collective success. These structures demonstrate the complexity and dynamism of East Asian economies and provide insights into intricate interplay between family, business, and national development. Let's take a closer look at some of the Chaebol in South Korea and their stories, both the dark and the light. One notable example is Hyundai, founded by Chung Joo Young in 1947. It began as a construction company and later expanded into various industries. However, Hyundai faced allegations of corruption in the 1990s when its chairman, Chung Joo Young, and his sons were embroiled in a high profile scandal involving political bribery. Despite its tarnished reputation, Hyundai has since made efforts to improve corporate governance and regain public trust. Another prominent Che Bol, LG, has also faced its fair share of controversies. In the early 2000s, LG Group's chairman at the time, Ku Boon Mu, was convicted of embezzlement and tax evasion. The scandal shed light on the issue of corruption within Che Bol and raised questions about their accountability. However, it's crucial to recognize that Che Bol's history isn't solely marred by corruption and controversy. They've also made significant contributions to South Korea's economy and society. For instance, Samsung, led by its founder Lee Byung-chul and later his son Lee Kun-hee, has been a key driver in South Korea's technological advancements. The company's electronics division has revolutionized the global market producing cutting-edge smartphones, televisions, and other consumer electronics. Samsung's relentless innovation and commitment to research and development have earned it a prominent place on the world stage. SK Group, led by its chairman, Che Tae-won, has been actively involved in social initiatives. The company has contributed to environmental sustainability, renewable energy development, and cultural preservation. SK Group's efforts have demonstrated that Che Bol can positively impact society beyond their business endeavors. The history of Che Bol in South Korea is a complex tale, featuring both triumphs and tribulations. 
While instances of corruption have marred the reputation of some Chaebol, it's important to recognize their positive contributions as well. Companies like Samsung, Hyundai, LG, and SK Group have not only played a significant role in the country's economic growth, but have also contributed to technological advancements and social initiatives. That wraps up our journey through the history of Che Bol in South Korea. We hope you found this exploration of one of Asia's most influential business structures enlightening. Thank you for joining us today, and remember to subscribe to our channel for more captivating historical content. Until next time, keep exploring and keep learning.